another anniversary the country is remembering tonight. It's also been one year since Hurricane Harvey devastated parts of Texas. A family of Kentucky natives living in Harvey's path at the time has since moved back to the bluegrass. LEX 18's Tiffany Jackson spoke with Mike Crosby about the harrowing experience he says his family will never forget. Almost a year ago to the day, we talked with Mike Crosby, who had just evacuated Flower Bluff Island near Corpus Christi with his family. We boarded the house up and, uh, you know, got all our pictures and valuables. Today, they live here in central Kentucky again, but they're remembering the devastation they came back to when they returned to their island after Hurricane Harvey. A lot of places still didn't have electric. Some people were still dealing with flooding. Roads were blocked. So there was a lot of uh, chaos for a while. He thought their newly built privacy fence would help protect their home, but even it was thrown across the yard when they got back. It snapped it off right at the concrete, just like breaking a toothpick, it just the whole fence. He says despite the damage, they were lucky. They didn't have nearly as much as neighboring communities like Rockport. RV's still upside down. Uh, there was a big boat barn and boats were just suspended in air hanging. So. It was, it was crazy. It was unbelievable. You couldn't, you couldn't imagine. As he looks back, Crosby says he's glad they evacuated when they did. The people told us, oh, it won't be that bad. Well, it jumped, you know, like two categories in a day's time. So uh, we almost didn't get out of there in time. But for some, even a year later, their troubles aren't over. There's still a lot of people that still have a lot of problems down there. Covering the news, Tiffany Jackson, LEX 18 News.